do no harm, but also momentum is hard to create. Good shit. Sometimes hard to stop. You have it. So, Jesse, don't do anything stupid to create some momentum for the other side. I think a lot of this comes down to your quarterback and whether or not he's making good decisions in this game. If yes, be aggressive. Oh, if not, let's just take the lead into halftime to get ready for the second half. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Got him. That pass is incomplete. And they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. All incompletions. Okay. We got to take shots. You got to make big plays in college football. I love that you're taking shots. Keep taking them. Some of those are going to come home. Some of them aren't. But when they come home, they eat the big time points. On third down, he drops the throw. Him, uh, uh, in, it's complete. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is, and you saw it right there on that. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Motion trying to get the defense to show its hand. Why is nobody going out there? There he goes down the right side. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Iron. How about that? His second receiving touchdown of the ball game. Find ways to get your athletes the ball. They'll do the rest. That's number two. They better start playing some better defense. Or number three is coming soon. Oh, shit. You get that touchdown. Bro, it's like they just left the man. He ran right past <laughs> It up by allowing a big kickoff return. Here's the return from inside the 25. They make the stop on the return, and that is priority one. You don't want some big return to give up a cheap touchdown on the final play of the half. And the Buffaloes will kick it off to start the second half. He'll start the return inside his spot. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Notre Dame has the ball and ready to get moving. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect them. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. Yeah, and way to be creative. Way to get the ball in the perimeter really quickly. Get some speed outside. All you got to do is secure that edge, and you're just trying to get that first down. Nice job. Nice play call by the offense. Why would he not check that off? I don't know, but I sure jumped up there trying to get it. I was there. That was me. So why did it hit and jump at it? And here comes the offense on second down. After the incompletion, they go back up to throws for the tight end. Bro, I keep switching my fucking man, man. And they don't drag him down until he gets all the way to the 46-yard line. Well, big time throwing that last play. You know, you think about great Notre Dame quarterbacks. I think back to a couple of Joes. Joe Montana, Joe Theismann. They'd love what they'd be seeing right now from this kid. He's got arm talent. He's got accuracy. And because of that, he gives this offense the ability to light up the scoreboard. <laughs> oh, we got both of <laughs> Come on, 
Notre Dame coming to the line with another first down. He's looking to throw it. Deep shot for the end zone. They even try to jump in front of that. And the punishment has been extended. And man, is that perfect time he My team that down try. Sees his guy and he knows he's open, but watch the throw. Deep down the field, Palmer, right in the bread basket. Nice play, nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. The ball squirts through the end zone. That'll be a touchback. They'll bring it out to the 25. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can it's they the flag. Back? He was throwing it. It's the flag anyway. It's the flag on them. He bumps you on your route. Tackle after the turnover, but hang on just a second. There's a flag on the field. Let's see if it stands. On first down, here comes this offense. Yeah, it was a flag. I just threw that bitch. Just in case she, she caught it. <laughs> oh, he's looking to throw. Where yeah, where yeah. Got the something over there. That was square. I didn't know which one you was. I just had to get on, get rid of it. Yeah. Well, I got something. You got big TV ass play. Yeah. I do got that good. Yeah. He'll get a foot down and help out his offense. Looking to pass. It's Fafita. He's got his man. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. You see more and more small wide receivers. I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot. I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout a season. Who you on, Bill? Well, I'm right there we go. Grab in the backfield. It's Tunsil. And that defense doesn't allow. Damn, man. I, I, don't, know, I don't know how they even really do the damn plays. I'm just trying that shit. Yeah, do it before the back touch the ball. Come back, come back, come back, Bill. Come back. Those, you good. Touchdown. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. 
And listen, they didn't get the huge playoff of that, but, but I love the ability to show that and be able to show plays off of that, that jet motion and just show them you're willing to complete it. But, you know, get those little chunks at a time. It doesn't have to always be a home run. That's still a successful play. Defense in press coverage. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Looking for that hey, down on third and short from the Jay. Jay. Hey, I'm plugging that thing, plugging it back up. Look it back up. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Notre Dame ready to go with another first down. Oh, yeah. Looking to move it through the air. Safe completion on the screen. And he never had a chance. As soon as he caught it, the defense was right there. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. He's going to pass on second down. Got it set up on the outside. Obliterates him. Ain't no way. Uh, Ripped off a huge chunk play. Fucking way. He gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. <laughs> Everybody just slid off him like he got a bunch of grease on him or some shit. Held on to right. Him, let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position, and the running back sold it too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up a oh, nice play on a running back screen. The entire complexion of this possession right, changed on that one second. play. Now they've got it first and ten inside the twenty. They want to just keep throwing it. Touchdown by the Irish. And the pummeling has... I thought I had a purple over there, but I guess not. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Try to follow that last touchdown with an onside kick. Not much drives more anxiety than waiting to see if the hands team can corral the onside kick, and they do. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some pride here. And this one was a beatdown. And there's nothing you can do about it because this one's over. Jesse, now we got to start progressing for next week for the rest of this season so we don't let one bad game turn into two. Yeah, there are very few teams out there that won't watch game film, but they may want to skip this one. I mean, because it may hurt their confidence. They just need to turn the page and get ready for the next opponent and forget this day ever happened. What the fuck? The computer didn't get that pad? Come on, man. What that was me without fucking square that trying to reset the game. So good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game today. Dropping back. It's Fafita. Quarterback now breaking the field. Trying to make magic on the scramble. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. It's so frustrating on the defense. I mean, you got you got great initial coverage. You understand third and short, the ball might come out fast, and then what does the quarterback do? Scrambles around, buys time, gets the first down pretty easily. Now you got a new fresh set of downs and a new fresh set of problems. Quarterback floating away from pressure. He can't. Because as soon as you break the pocket, I'm thinking, oh, man, he's going to take off and run, and I might come up. But those big plays can be made down the field. Nice job by the quarterback keeping his eyes down the field. Looking to throw. Eyes 
a little time. Let's like go to the end zone. You think you're coming back through? What the hell? He did it. Say, oh damn, no, bro! I stopped it right on the green and went all the way to the end and maybe miss it. All what red. the fuck? Man, no, it didn't even go to the red. I stopped it on the green. The bar went on its own all the way to the end. Wow. On the move from inside is five. Still on his feet. Oh, we dropped it. Give me that. Oh man, can't stop that. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. Man, that is picture perfect cover zero. When I play cover zero, I'm bringing pressure, and that ball's gonna. We get going late in the game like a motherfucker. Right. Nice job breaking on the football and going to making the interception. Scanning the field, it's for feet. Oh shit! I thought she was gonna keep going out. Oh, I ain't know you gonna come. My bad. I yeah. should have waited. I should have waited though. I thought you were gonna run out. I thought you could run that route. Yeah, I'm trying to bite him. Um, low route, then go up. When you're up by two plus scores, and you're in this situation, you know exactly what is coming. It's going to be a pass. They have to because the clock is their enemy. Great job playing pass, forcing the interception, almost putting the nail in the coffin. Running backs on either side of the quarterback. He'll come out throwing on first down. The pass is incomplete, and there are two things remaining on the clock. They're trying that cheesy ass After shit. This play, the cake will be baked. And back to the air on second down. They're bringing heat. Quickly complete. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. The officials mm -hmm. throw the flag, but the offense won't need it. They'll decline that. Yeah, but y'all got to look at that game, you bad. Not a lot of drama in this one as they just get punched in the face and lose by double figures. Not a lot of drama, but there is a lot to fix on offense, on defense, on special teams. This okay, team, David, they've got He's ready, a lot to Two and two. Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team. I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football. We can switch it back around now. <laughs> this is this is a quarterback. He quarterback. Uh. You gotta change yours up, you. I'm about to wait for my screen though. Oh, you see ain't loaded? Oh. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, you can't play. Oh, yeah.
you have to do that. What's up, bro? <laughs> no, actually, one, two, and we just lost, but two. <laughs> one, two, and lost two. So we. It's still froze, huh? Oh, that's some bullshit here, man. Oh, it changed green. Man, this is <laughs> still ain't started.
Man, this shit's gonna lag. He's gonna be stuck right here for a minute. I don't wanna quit. They don't want to quit either. Hey, I think this is their championship game.
It started. What the fuck? And I'm by myself. Yo, do you lose? I'm on the I'm in the game by myself. Kickoff team on the field ready to start. Yeah. Season classic. One with y'all left. And he takes this from inside the five. Yeah, that whole team is here. I don't want y'all left that when that shit work, man. Oh, oh. Offense set on first down. He was. He wants to throw. Fires to the right. And that ball is picked off. He'll try to take it back. He's at the 20. Touchdown. Got me a pick, though. What a great play by the defense of paying it off with the interception. I ruin y'all shit. That is not the start this offense wanted. You're trying to come out, you're trying to create some momentum and get a rhythm and consistency, but you throw the pick six early and put yourself in a hole. Not good. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. And he muffs it, a loose football. They got him in the end zone for a safety. I got a safety. Inexplicable lapse of judgment to go back into his own end zone. So after giving up the deuce on the safety, now they'll be able to kick it away without a rush from the 20. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. Single back formation and they give it to it. Well guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season, throughout your career, and it's the last time that you ever get these group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and, it, and it's kind of bittersweet, but always fun, Jesse, um, to, do, uh, to dance with your boys one last time. But another thing, too, I love the swag bags, personally. I love getting the gifts. Yeah, I mean, to me, David, really, it was thinking about the tradition and history of these bowl games. I think that's one of the best things about college football. We're in an era today where bowl games don't matter as much as they did back when you and I played, but it was special to take the field with your guys one more time, but playing in games that had so much history. here early as they lead the offense on the field in their own territory they want to keep this opening drive alive they're throwing for it on fourth down he's got it they convert and he gets the first down but man did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin sometimes we don't give enough credit to a receiver knowing exactly where he needs to be on the field and they pick up the first down there yeah, and you've got to give the receiver credit obviously knowing where that is but the defender needs to know where it is too where is he trying to get that ball's going to come out quick he didn't really understand where the sticks were and because of that he gives up the first down you need to just be a little bit more aware as a defensive guy to the air it's rising Fires to the tight end. And the big fella couldn't elude the cornerback who makes a short tackle. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage. And nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Looking to throw on third. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. This offense gets into plus territory. They're going to go for it regardless of their field goal kicker's range. On fourth down, they'll throw for it. 
finds his man and they convert. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line and they are threatening. And the Wolverines look to keep this drive humming. Looking for space. It's Singleton. Got enough space. And he's loose and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Michigan. Quit, motherfuckers. Who needs that? Break the long touchdown run. Nice job by the back. Seeing the hole exploding through. Getting a long touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. Just got a little casual with it and blew the extra point. So that's a 60 yard touchdown drive. And he capped it off with a 27 yard touchdown run. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. <laughs> a first down for the offense. Leaves it with the back. At the 35, he's loose. And they'll move the chain and a good way to wrap up the first quarter. Okay. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Going up top on first down. Keeps looking downfield. He'll try to do it himself. David, given the fact that you are a devoted helmet head, I'm not sure that you're aware there are a lot of other festivities around the bowl game. Did you ever experience any of that? Of course I'm a helmet head. Yeah, spot on. Agree with that. But here's the thing. We did a meat-eating contest at the Outback Bowl my senior year. What squad could eat more steak from Outback? It was absolutely amazing. So I experienced that in all of its Really good patience and recognition. And how about the tight end? Just finding the hole and settling and waiting until the quarterback saw it. Man, the play completely changes. Once my QB gets outside of the pocket, I got to see it. And I got to start working towards him. Or if I'm near him working away, nice job being on the same page, getting the first down. And I think this is important for this defense. This will be a big key in the football game. Like, I got to limit the damage from that guy. Because that, that's a QB that's dynamic, and, and he can make so many big plays. I got to string him out. I got to make him get to the sideline. But I will say this. I do want to hit him at the end of the runs. I don't want to let him out of bounds and let him get free carries. I want to be physical. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? White going to attack through the air, getting some heat. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? It's fourth down now, and this likely the final snap before the two-minute warning. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Finds him out of the backfield. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. The Hawkeyes come to the line with a new set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He got it! Got open on the post and then had no regard for his body and making Exactly right. You know you're going to get hit a lot of times coming over the middle of the field. But he runs that post, lays out, makes the play for his quarterback. That's a tough umbra. He wants it all. To the end zone, and it's picked off. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. 
Well, the defense there did an awesome job forcing the lefty run to the left. And as a result, they got him off schedule. They got him out of his rhythm. Just wasn't on the same page with his intended target. The defense comes away with a massive turn. The give to the back. Finds room at the 10. Nothing but green ahead. The 50. He's inside the 40. He's at the 20. And he's... <laughs> Dropping these niggas on the board right here cut into this deficit create a little bit of momentum because this one's going to get out of hand otherwise yeah there are a lot of offenses out there that might just say okay let's just regroup and figure it out this offense doesn't have time to do that. they've got to be aggressive they've got to throw it down the field they've got to score points quickly out to the tight end finally run out of bounds but he has this offense rolling with the first down Quarterback by himself in the backfield. White wants to throw it. Firing to the right, complete. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickoff. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Running back goes in motion. He'll just keep slinging it. Looking to the big tight end. Makes a connection. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And the Hawkeyes racing to the line in the hurry up. Looking to go up top on first down. Using his feet to buy time. Slings it downfield. And good coverage and better hands by the defender to knock it down in the end zone. After the misfire now on second down. He's looking to throw. Now sliding to his left. Release to the back. That's caught. It's Francis. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Man, it's so hard to be on the road and make an accurate throw. It's just very tough. Very few people can do it. I mean, again, we see the freaks and we see the highlights all the time, but that's a tough thing to do. He made it look pretty easy. Makes the grab. He gets it in. Touchdown, Iowa. Man, he didn't just put it on his numbers. If he were throwing it at a front porch, he would have put that right in the keyhole. What a precise pass. Right in the keyhole, right on the button, right on the face mask, whatever it was. Great throw, great timing. Nice job by the field. So they got the touchdown. Now going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. And he muffs it. It's loose. Running to daylight from inside his 25. And they'll get him on the ground as the offense comes out to start the next drive. Just over 20 seconds to play before halftime. They'll have it first and 10. He's going to pass. And he can't connect on the throw. It's incomplete. This offense has a second down play. To the air, it's rising. Coming after it. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. On third and long, 
and you'll have to turn it loose deep. Unleashes one. Wide open downfield. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Just enough time for one final play in this half. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Oh, it's a pass. And he'll pull it in inside the 20. They finally make the stop, but that one will make those halftime stats look a little nicer as we head to the break. The Hawkeyes will kick it off to start the second half. Grabs it inside his 25, and here he comes. They get him corralled, but not before he gets that return out to the 35. Guys, here come those maize and blue winged helmets on offense. They more than got the job done in the first half. Now the job in a bowl game, don't get distracted and finish the deal here in the second half. I mean, love the way they came out. They had all that time off, didn't look rusty at all. Came out with a foot on the accelerator. Looks really, really good. Palmer, just more of the same here in the second half. I agree. And if you're on that sideline right now, now's not the time to be thinking about the offseason, your strength program, what classes you're taking in the spring. You need to focus on finishing this game and punctuating the season. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. Good timing on the quick out. And they are finding some space in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. That's a really nice pass. You can see why this guy right here gives the Michigan faithful a reason to be optimistic. You know, for years we know Michigan has always been good at running the football, but they've got to be able to throw. They've got to be more consistent making big plays through the air. This guy gives them that chance. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments Find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? Now, that's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. He'll pull it down. Makes the grab. It's top. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next one. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. break the seal on this quarter here on first down. The give and tick, 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 tick. Touchdown, Michigan! And the route is on. What a day. It's the third rushing touchdown. You've got your college fantasy football team going. This guy is racking those points up for you. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. And the extra point is good. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And they finished it off with a 14-yard run for the score. Grabs it inside his 25, and here he comes. He found some really good running room on that one and just about got loose. As it is, good return to set up the drive. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Going deep. And it was worth the gamble, but the long pass is incomplete. 
and that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game plan all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but unleashes one deep. Can't hang on in the end zone, and that one is going to drive him crazy when he watches it. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Throws to the tight end. A strike downfield. He was loose and set him sail, and they stop him at the six-yard line. They ripped off a huge chunk, and now a little chunk is needed to pay it off. They keep attacking through the air. Pulls it in the end zone. Touchdown, Hawkeye. A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. And the tight end, I'll tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see a move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? you got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target and make the big play. Get the touchdown. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. And a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. Michigan ready to get that offense rolling again. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, and how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels. Because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. He's got space. There he goes to the right. And he takes it all the way. They couldn't stop him. Touchdown, Wolverines. Have yourself a day, young fella. You know why they handed him the ball a lot? Because he did that. That's his fourth trip to Pater. This dude has shown you a little bit of everything. What a great back. And four touchdowns on the day. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Oh, right through his fingers, he muffed it. But the ball pops out on the return. Scooped up by the kicking team. And here comes the Michigan offense back on the field. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If we do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep your foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop you. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. To the air. It's rising. Going for six. Touchdown, Michigan! And the stomping has commenced. There's no mercy rule in college football, man. They've got a huge lead here in the fourth quarter. They are still chucking it, and they are still scoring. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And he knocks this one through, and that's been anything but easy for this kicker. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. No reason to risk trying to field that one as it skips through the end zone. It'll be a touchback. This 
has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positive. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. And the turn complete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't, they haven't got it going and never built the momentum. This is, this is one of those days that you learn from, you try to grow from. A lot of things that we're going to show in the film room that people aren't going to like, but hopefully you can learn from it and do better next week. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. He's going for it all. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. You know, it's one thing to take shots early in a game when the defense may not be expecting it, but at this point, fourth quarter, you're trailing by a lot. They know you're going to do it, and the defense was expecting that one. Great job in the back end. He wants a big play here late, and he's picked off again. His night vision hasn't been up to speed. His third interception, and he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. The number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one dimension. Well, when they're trailing by this much, late in the game, they're one-dimensional. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the football. Nice break on the football. Nice interception. This one's almost over. Fires to the right. It's caught downfield. Touchdown, Wolverine. And the beatdown has ensued. There is time on the clock. There is time on the clock. There is time to put more points on the board. I mean, the scoreboard operator needs to work out too, right? <laughs> yeah, and I guess he's he's been getting it, and the defense's job is, is to stop it. But I would argue, Reese, you can just take a knee. You take a knee, run the clock, you still get out of here, and you, you still get the win. Now they'll try to get another possession with an onside kick. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense getting set for first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. At this point in the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Timeout is called with just a single second left. One more play to pad the stats. White going to attack through the air. Steps away to find some room. Throws for the tight end. Falls incomplete. They fought to the final whistle, but that's going to do it. This is what you're looking for when you have the better team. Go out and show it. Don't fool around with them. Go out and play to a stand.